Hey guys, welcome to this Elmora class where we're going to be learning about color grading. Specifically, we're going to try and recreate the famous teal and orange look. We're going to try and understand how to make this look work within every situation in Filmora 12. Before we start editing, let's download Filmora 12. Click the link below, click download, install it, and now you're ready to follow along this tutorial. As a base, we're going to use these three shots. Always remember, try and shoot a blue or golden hour. These are the best times to reach that teal and orange look because especially blue hour, everything is blue and your subject, yourself, whoever that is, has nice orange skin tones, which make already before going into post-production a beautiful teal and orange look. And this is why the teal and orange look became so famous within Hollywood movies because blue hour, which they call magic hour because everything is nice and blue and the skin tones are beautiful and orange so they mesh together which becomes this beautiful teal and orange contrast and it is contrast that we want to talk about because if you look at the color wheels orange is here blue is here which means the opposite colors and opposite colors always complement themselves not only teal and orange let's start right off with this shot of a seaweed farmer this was shot here in bali at blue hour this was before the sun was rising and you can see everything is nice and teal already even before we color grade it obviously we have to convert this from a log profile that i shot this to a rec 709 to do this all we're going to do is create an s curve in our curves and then add some saturation and contrast now we have a perfectly balanced rec 709 image and as you can see straight off the batch without any color grading just adjusting from log to rec 709 our image pretty much already looked like a nice teal and orange look and that is because it's blue hour and our subject has nice skin tones now let's jump into our color wheels here we're going to add a bit of blue and teal to our shadows and oranges to our mid tones and highlights and once that's done we're going to jump into the color curves so let's go back into the curves and let's see away the white one and let's look into the blue the red and the greens which is our rgb colors which makes the colors of an image what you want to do is start with a blue one and drag it and kind of create an s curve again now replicate this to the green and to the red one once everything is balanced with this nicely curve into our curves we want to try and move the red ones and the blue ones until you see that the teal and orange are starting to come up and we're announcing these colors usually i don't touch the green because that just changes the greens and the magenta so you don't really want to play around with that but you want to make sure that it's aligned with them in the beginning once this is done, we're going to move into the HSL tab. Here, we control the luminance, the saturation, and the hue of each color. What we're going to do is take the oranges and saturate them and add a little bit of brightness, luminance. Then we're going to go into the blues, and we're going to move the blues to the teal side just a little bit, and then we're going to desaturate them just a little bit. And just by doing this, with everything we've done together, you should already have a pretty nice teal and orange look. Right, this is pretty much done and I'm pretty happy with this shot. It looks super cinematic, it looks super nice. You can always make more tweaks and personalize it to your likings, but for this example, I'm happy with this. Now, let's say I wanna take this and just copy and paste it into a different shot. So what I do, I can create a preset and then make that preset, let's call it teal and orange, and then we're gonna apply that preset to different shots. So we're gonna try that with the remaining two shots, but you will see every shot is different because you have a different light, you have a different subject, everything is different for every shot. So what you want to do is apply this as a base and then usually I play around with the HSL and with the curves to make this look fit within each shot. So play around with it but use this as a base. This is all for this lesson and I'll see you guys in the next one.